morning guys, what's going on? It's about 7 a.m. right now. I'm about five minutes late on the on the uh, morning bite right now. Kind of falling a little behind, but this morning is one of my, it's my favorite conditions to fish right now. It is extremely overcast and dark outside. There's a little bit of wind, but not a lot. And it's just my absolute favorite conditions to fish in. It just makes the topwater bite awesome. So hopefully we can get on a good topwater bite in the morning and then transition throwing some swim baits and trying to catch some big fish this morning. That is the plan, but we gotta get at it. I'm gonna see if I can catch a fish on the uh, old whopper plopper right here and see if he can get me on one. Oh, wow. That was a pretty awesome hit, not gonna lie. And drag that very tight. I like was reeling as fast as I could and I could see something chasing it and they weren't hitting it and then I stopped it and about four or five of them swung at it at once and this one hooked up. I think my uh, first saltwater fish on the whopper flopper. Crank them in. Ah, it's just music. There we go. Beautiful. Alright. First fish of the morning, just a little jack crawl. It was pretty cool catching them on the whopper plopper, just kind of a new way to target these things. I mean, jacks fight well, but. Hopefully I want to catch one a little bigger than this and hopefully maybe a big snook as well. Look at that handsome guy. Got a fat lip now though. We're gonna release him. Okay, so out in the open, you know, I feel like all we're gonna catch is some small jack, maybe little bluefish if they're here, little ladyfish, but I want to try to target something a little bigger, so we're going to move towards some walls and hop around and just kind of try to fish some structure. You know, the colder water, this cold weather we've had over the weekend, we had like a 60 degree cold front. And so all the fish, well, snook I should say, are probably going to be centered around structure where they can get some warmth off of dock pilings and walls because those concrete structures and wooden structures will hold heat actually and they'll get close to them. So hopefully we can find some bigger fish around some structure this morning. Ooh, there was a fish. Getting followed. Jacks. Ooh. That was a cool take though, to say the least. Just came off right there, it's all right. Well that was sweet, it's a little one but that was a really cool hit.
Oh, I just got freaking thumped. On. I don't think he's very big. Yeah. Medium. Oh my god. I think he's foul hooked. No, he's hooked in the mouth. Alright, probably, I don't know bigger if not the same size as all the other ones we've been catching in this morning but look how clean he is which is really surprising because the river is filthy right now but you see how white and kind of just brightly colored he is that's kind of an indication i think that he's been living along the beach and pushed inside recently that's where most of them have come from a lot of the jacks right now are very very light colored because they've all pushed inside and some people have asked me to hear him grunting well now he stopped but when you hear there you go. When you hear them grunt, from what I understand, they have crushers in the back of their mouth, like in their throat, where when they grab fish, because they don't have sandpaper teeth, they do have little teeth, but they're just like a little jagged tooth right there you can barely see. And they pretty much just use those teeth to grab onto prey, then they move it to the back of their throat, and those crushers smash the prey. Very similar to redfish have them too, instead of trout. But beautiful fish, jacks are fun, get them going. I was hoping that throwing this big giant popper would result in some bigger fish, but apparently not. Oh, that was a snook, dude. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Something just ate underneath this dock. Let's see if we can get in there. <sighs> oh gosh. Oh no, it's a little jack, I can see. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Ooh, that's a little snook though. That's awesome. Wow, so I have this snook on here. There's about five catfish sitting beneath it. That's awesome. This will be my uh, first snook on the whopper plopper right there. Let's see if we can flip them in. Whipped. Try not to let them get on the deck too much. Keep them healthy. Right there. Snook on the whopper plopper. That's pretty cool. It's my first snook I've ever caught on a whopper plopper. I don't throw them very often, but they seem to work pretty well. I might be throwing these a lot more. Right now, I think it's a very imperative time to take good care in releasing snook, especially because with the cold weather coming in, they can very struggle very hard with this cold weather. So it's good to uh, make sure you make sure these snook are staying healthy with this upcoming cold season.
all right, done with the day. You know, it's always a good day when you can get out early and have a long topwater bite and a consistent topwater bite. And that happened this morning and it was pretty awesome. You know, I tried throwing a big oversized popper for a while to catch maybe a bigger jack. And I ended up catching one that was like five, six pounds. And that was the big fish of the day, which is still small. But sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. I was really surprised today though by the whopper plopper. I caught a lot of fish on that, including a snook, which was a first for me. And these jack as well. I think it was actually the first saltwater fish I've caught on a whopper plopper before, which is cool, you know? Prop style baits, they're very, very cool. They're very simple. I enjoy using them because they're such minimal effort. It's literally you throw it out, and you reel it in, and they make a lot of noise and they work. So that was cool. Something happened today that might seem insignificant to you guys, but it actually tells me some valuable information. This past weekend, it was a cold front came through, and it's been about 60 degrees all weekend. And I know a lot of you know when it gets cold, the snook bite really shuts off. They're very difficult to target once it gets cold out. But I was able to catch one underneath the dock and then also get one to blow up on the whopper plopper against a wall both back in a residential canal area and the reason that's important to me is that tells me something because when it's colder out the snook might be moving into those residential areas where there's more docks more sea walls there's less water flow and so naturally the water is going to be warmer in there you know the water is not flowing so the sun will really heat that water up quickly docks and seawalls they hold warmth and they absorb heat and they will radiate that out through the water so in my mind that tells me if I want to target snook now when it's colder like this I need to be moving into residential areas and not fishing main river sources or flats or bays I need to be fishing in smaller more confined areas because the snook are going to be searching for that heat now with jacks I think they enjoy the cold to an extent where they are such a fast moving fish the cold water keeps them going you know it's awesome and soon enough with this cold weather there's going to be blue fish moving in the river spanish mackerel maybe some flounders triple tails pompano all different stuff so hopefully we'll be able to get on some of those fish soon but i had a good time this morning i hope you guys enjoy the video see you.